wonderful days to be sure. Mike Stevens says that after checking the latest entries in the PhotoLink library. The sun rises on a summer day and Dave Walsh of Shavertown is at the lands at Hillside Farms to see it. What might you see on this day, if you're lucky? How best to approach this epic journey, a full stomach is best. This is from Eileen Chorba of Beach Lake. Maybe you'll just hang out for a while and get your bearings, get ready for an adventure. Cheryl Brown of Troy sent an example of that from her yard. A bit of refreshment perhaps, a cooling off period like the one this little guy was taking at Diane Marshman's in New Milford. Anyway, once all that's settled, go looking for what can be found on a summer day. Jennifer Gronsky of Wilburton found a little something. Just be careful you don't observe everything close up. Kathy Jones of Covington Township didn't, but still got the photo in her backyard. While you laze through the day looking at this and that, some keep working. Tom Freimeyer at Colgan Station found one worker who carried his work with him at all times. Dave Smith of Makanaqua found a poser on the hydrangea in his flower garden. From Becky Latona of Pittston, another garden-friendly critter that just happened to stop by. From Brittany Kirshner of Berwick, another of those delicate creatures you can never see too much of. Of course, things don't bloom all at once, but if you're lucky, you can catch one now and then. That's what Cynthia Rod of Catawissa did. Up close and personal is surely the way to go, even if you can only go an inch at a time. This is from Gregory Borowski of Archbold. Time marches on. It finally reaches day's end and hopefully a sunset like this one from Donald Serfoss of Tamaqua. Keep an eye out for a photo of your own and send it on in. Maybe we'll see it next time in the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens. And that mark